in nine different languages. She takes pride in having assisted in a critical surgical procedure. Interesting. Anis, tell us about the surgical operation that you have assisted in. My name is Bagna everyone, which is good evening to everyone in Ilocano. As a student nurse, Alan Biaro or Dr. Alan Biaro is a neurosurgeon in Ilocosur and all of us fear him, but we always see the passion in him being a surgeon and neurosurgeon is very difficult, but being able to assist in the operatory room as a student nurse was an honor. Seeing the brain, its flesh, the skull, burr hole, that's amazing, right? Not everyone can see that. So that was a lifetime experience for me. Okay, did the person live? Of course, Dr. Alan Biado. I would have suffered a heart attack if I saw you. Okay, greet us using three of the nine languages that you are capable of speaking. At least three. Three greetings that you know. Okay, so since I was born and raised in Saudi Arabia, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That means our praise in most Islamic form. Then I know Tamil, which is my father tongue. Uh, how are you? And of course, I also know which is very similar to uh, Hindi. Kese ho? You can say Tiko. <laughs> Thank you. Tiko. Thank you so much. Anis from Indokasu. Okay, now comes candidate number five, Carmela Joy, or CJ, from Aurora Province. CJ is a creative who designs and sketches her own gowns. She considers her, herself as versatile, unstoppable, and confident. Are any of your outfits tonight your own doing, your own design? I know it's, it's designed by my talented designer, Paul Samira. But I do have a lot of design which hidden in my drawer. And I'm, it's sadly, it's, it's my talent that's been gone that I've been not able to manage and I was able to, I'm not able to, like, to improve, sadly. But I hope someday I will bring back my passion again in drawing and design. I'm sure babalik yun. I'm sure mas gagaling ka pa mas susubuhusay ka pa bilang isang designer. Now, you previously described yourself as a woman in a male-dominated world. What exactly do you mean by that? I am a criminal just graduate. Yes. I, got, I am a fresh graduate uh, with a bachelor degree in criminology. And most of these scores are dominated by men. Men, and yeah, oh, 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 um, we are only like 20, 10 females in the class. Okay, as a criminology graduate, are you sensing any criminals here tonight with us? <laughs> no, because I believe every people here is have the heart to support and to bring and to you know to to uplift each one of their. Um, candidates for us and for for me I saw my supporters there and I believe there's no criminal intent here and there's no criminal no corrupt uh, qualities in here and I believe all of these people in this stage in this theater have a beautiful heart and being here is one of the you know the act that you are really have the gener generosity and the kindness for us thank you well, unfortunately, I'll have to say you're wrong. Because we have a thief here tonight, and it's you. You have been stealing our hearts. Thank you so much, CJ. Okay, now I'm mesmerized again. Candidate number six is Elda Louise Znar from Davao del Sur. Let's just check if I got this right. Elda is 
an experienced pageant competitor who considers herself or sense of independence and confidence as her main strengths. She recently put up her own business in her native Davao. Tell us about your new business, Elda. So I just opened up recently a business called Lamb's Nails and Skin. It is a service that gives nails, of course, and services for the skin. And I'm just so proud that I was able to open it um, amidst all the, uh, all the activities here in this Cosmo World Philippines. And right now, I hope on our opening or self-opening, I can invite all of you and support my business. Why did you choose to go into that particular business? That's the business of nails. The main inspiration is my mom. She is a nurse in Saudi, and I really wanted to create a business that doesn't only help myself, but also help my community. And I know a lot of nail technician, service providers, and so as also as a former flight attendant, I've always been aligned with customer service, and I think it is a destiny when the business was offered to me, and I pursued it. All right, Elda, how do you intend to manage that business in the event that you are crowned tonight as Miss Cosmo World Philippines, which will likewise be demanding? You know, I've always believed that I am a woman that is capable of time management. And I am very excited to the challenge if ever I do win Miss Cosmo World Philippines because I know I have the capability of both serving the people as well as both serving my country. We now move on to candidate number seven, Jezza Ilaganavina, representing Quezon Province. Jezza here is an event host who is also a coffee lover. At her young age, she has actually built her own house through hard work. Jezza, that's a big achievement for a young person. What else, aside from hosting, did you have to do to fund that big project of yours? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sir Joey. You know what? I am a wedding planner on site, and I help future couple to make their dream wedding into reality. So if anyone in this room are planning to get married, you know who to call. <laughs> hosting, wedding planning. You're a pretty hard-working person for somebody so young. What's prompting you to do all that? Well, you know what, Rui? I, would, I always love to put a deadline on my dreams. Though sometimes it may take time for me to get there. But I always manage that every centavo that I work hard will proceed to everything that I wanted to achieve. And that is how I manage things or I manage my dreams turns into reality. Alright, the next time you build a house, will it be a mansion or a simple house? Hmm, whether a mansion or a simple house, it doesn't matter, Sir Joey. I think what matters the most today is that I am capable of doing incredible things, especially tonight. Thank you very much. And you two are incredible. Jezza from Kazan Province, ladies and gentlemen. And this brings us to candidate number eight, Jasmine Amai, representing Karaskal Surugao Sur. Jasmine, you gained some muscles there after carrying all of those flowers and awards earlier. Well, Jasmine is a graduate of business management who is also a licensed to distribute private pilot. You fly planes. Yes, I do. Jasmine, how did you manage to finish both challenging degrees, not just at the same time, at the same time, but also while pursuing pageant crowns? Well, actually, before the pandemic, I was given those opportunities 
opportunity. We all know that flying a plane or entering aviation is very expensive, although it wasn't my own money. I won that on a pageant I joined. That's why it's very rare for some people to have that kind of opportunity and finish school at the same time. I just want to make my parents happy. I'm sure they are very happy. Well, aside from flying planes, what other ambition do you have that you think will bring you to higher places? Um, like you said earlier, I also have a bachelor's degree in business management. Um, before I started flying, I'll always have that mindset to have a business. And entering a business school, I realized that it's not just about making a certain product. It's all about helping other people. And then the business grows within itself. The when you address a problem, that's when you come closer a little bit to success. Now comes the tricky part. I would like you to rank those three things from the most important to the least important. Being a pilot, a business person, and a beauty queen. Okay. <laughs> well, definitely the first one I can confidently say is being a beauty queen because I am here right now, which means my priorities lies on what I do in front of all of you. And second would be having the business because if I do have a business and I be successful with it, I can pursue my dream to become a commercial pilot. She definitely knows her priorities, Jasmine Almay, ladies and gentlemen. We'll introduce this time around with candidate number 12, Linnell Peña Navidad, representing her five. Profile, Linnell is a young and upcoming actress who describes herself as a dynamic and strong woman. Linnell, tell us what important event in your life has required you to show your strength. Okay, one story that I am most proud of is at the age of 13, I am already the breadwinner of my family. And my life experiences, it was never easy. I became a pedicab driver. I experienced working in the rice field, uh, being a vendor of ice candy just to be able to help my mother provide food on the table. And at the same time, I was blessed with a brother with Down syndrome. And a lot of people are actually saying that I need to change him for the world, but no. I will never change him for the world, but rather I'll change the world for him. That's why I've become the strong woman that I am now. Thank you. You know, what does a financially wise woman need more? Is it dynamism or strength? I think it requires strength, actually, to be a financially stable or financially literate woman. Because as a woman, living in this world is actually very hard. We have the pay tax, everything that we do requires expenses, but when we know our strengths and our weaknesses, no one can stop us from being who we are and at the same time being disciplined enough into having a better future, growing as an individual and serving the community. Thank you. Finally, what message would you like to give a woman who is now experiencing setbacks in her life? One thing that I always remind myself every time I'm in the same situation is first acknowledge your strengths and your weaknesses because that will be your strength in life. And second is look at yourself in the mirror and be reminded of your younger self. Because the way I see it, every time I look at myself in the mirror, I, I will always be reminded of my younger self. She was the first one who struggled, who dreamed, who sacrificed a lot of things and I would do everything to make her proud. And every time I tell that to my friends or to anyone who is experiencing the same thing, they get inspired and they, they are grateful for that message. So that is what I will always share to anyone who is experiencing a setback. Life is hard but it will be better. Just trust yourself and trust God. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the inspiring Lino. Thank you, Lino. Let me now present to you our charity queen, Maribel Manalini from Zambales, candidate number 13. Belle is a woman who not only walks, but runs her talk. She
she lives extreme, well, she likes extreme sports and is also into doing marathons. What's the longest distance that you have covered as a mar marathoner? I was able to finish a full Philippine marathon, which is 42 kilometers way back to 2019. And I believe that is the most amazing experience that I have in terms of sport. So I want you guys to try it too because it's very life changing. Tell us, are you into running to win medals or just to, well, just for the joy of finishing? Let me share my life motto. It is, the miracle isn't about finishing a race, but having the courage to start. So it doesn't matter if I win a gold medal or not. The most important part is how I value the journey, how I prepared, the sacrifices that I made. And at the end of the day, it's all about the process and how you enjoyed it and how are you able to inspire the other people to do the same. Well, your profile also says that you are into extreme sports. What's in extreme sports that gets you hooked? For me, I just want to share that my brother is a mixed martial arts athlete. And he inspired me to practice boxing and Muay Thai as well. That is very unusual for a beauty queen like me. That's why I want to test my limit because just like in Miss Cosmo World Philippines, there is no limit to what Filipinas Our cherry queen, Belle from Zum 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 Palace. We shall now be joined by Rian Matlin de la Cruz from Malolos, Bulacan. a student and a model who is now seeking election in the forthcoming Barangay community elections. Now tell us about the local community position that you're pursuing in the coming elections, Macklin. Oh yeah, I'm aspiring as we chairman in our barangay in the city of Malolos. As an advocate of youth empowerment, I always love, I always believe that it is something that I'd love to do because I believe that social capability can contribute to nation building. All right. Oh, this is maybe something that Ms. Carrie is not familiar with. Do you know the word chismis? Gossip? There's something that I heard from the grapevine, Macklin. Um, I have heard that you are expected to be a sure winner in your barangay, and that this early you are already being considered and even positioned to be the provincial or city SK head in the entire Manolos. That's a big position. Is that true? Um, it is just a chief means, but it is so flattering. It is an honor, but as of the moment, I'd like to take it. I'd like to approach it one step at a time, and I'd like to focus more first in our barangay. All right. Finally, care to share with us your secret formula to surefire wins in both the barangay elections and possibly in Miss Cosmo World Philippines. Um, to tell you frankly, Sir Joey, I am not a believer of secret formula because I always believe in the true value of hard work in everything we pursue in life. And I can say that I can give my all, not be it in Barangay or be it for the Philippines. And I hope that is enough for me to get not just the vote of my constituents, but also for the judges tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely a looker. <laughs> Candidate number 16, Ruela Frias from Kalumpit, Bulacan. Ruela is a pet enthusiast with 11 dogs at home. Dami naman Apart from 
from that, she is also a Liam Neeson fanatic and dreams of becoming a flight attendant in the future. Rubella, I want to find out just how much you love your 11 dogs. Can you name all of them tonight? So I name them as Willow, Red, Blue, White, <laughs> Red, Blue, White, and Green, and Dahlia. It's so hard. Ah, 11 dogs. Ah, Whiskey, Winsley. Too much is Hey, I guess you'll have to give her a round of applause for that. It's hard to have that presence of mind to remember all of those 11 names. All right. Now comes another trick question. Which of them is your favorite? It's very hard to choose, but if I had to choose, I will choose Willow. She is the one, she is the one, the most that I love, and I hope she knows how much I love her, and I do whatever it takes just to make her happy, and buy a lot of things that she needs, especially clothes. She's a fashionable. All right, lucky dog. Now, your final question for this round. Who would you rather have to inspire you tonight? Your dog or Liam Neeson? Oh, okay. Uh, Liam Neeson inspired me because of his movie, uh, Taken. Because he do everything for her daughter just to get her back. And I just... I just realized that our father will do everything for us just to make us safe and just to have a better life, even if it takes us of their lives. Thank you. Our pet lover, Ruella from Galumbit Kulahan, ladies and gentlemen. psychology scholar and a licensed psychometrician. She finds relaxation in reading novels, drawing, painting, watching movies, and traveling. Sam, what's the latest movie that you have seen? The latest movie that I have seen is Elemental. So it's a, it's a cartoon movie that talks about two different life, um, two different, completely different people who manage to fall in love with each other despite their differences. Well, usual follow up. Did you like it? What lesson did you learn from it? I loved it. I absolutely loved Elemental. I'm a kid at heart. So for those of you who have watched the movie, I think we all have a similar takeaway, which is that um, love should not be defined by um, like how we want people love to be. I believe that you should love despite another person's differences and love despite what other people think of your relationship. Thank you. All right. You also say that you love traveling. So which destination would you like to visit next? Cebu. Is that okay, like within the Philippines? I would love to visit Cebu because I have met so many friends in this pageant who keep inviting me to Cebu. I love them. And I have never been to Cebu, but just hearing stories about how much they love Cebu makes me love it even more. Our movie buff, Samantha, thank you so much. But you know what? I did think that she would say Malay. 
Croatia is going to be my next destination. But, you know, she loves to boo. Our final semi-finalist for tonight is Canada number 21, Vivian Hernandez from Quezon City. Vivian is a medical laboratory science graduate who also admits to being a proud lawless girl. She's a grand boss girl. For this reason, she wishes to be the voice of the overlooked elderly folks. Vivian. Well, you don't look like a Lola tonight at all. What is one trait that you inherited from your grandma? The one thing that I inherited from my grandma is being independent. And, and that is something that everyone should have because she raised me all alone and she's very strong and powerful and very inspiring in life. And that is why I want everyone to know to become independent, to achieve who you want it to be in life. world I felt seen and I felt that my voice is heard that is why I pursued being a beauty queen and I am very grateful to be part of Miss Cosmo World Philippines who made me feel very valued